Shade Monroe's Scotland women are a year further down the road in their development, and despite a recent history of disappointment, Captain Lisa Martin believes that the tide could be about to turn. So Lisa, what are your expectations heading into this year's Six Nations? Uh, obviously going into the conference with a really good build-up with uh, good wins over Litchfield and Aylesford Bulls. Obviously off the back of Spain World Cup qualifiers, the result didn't go our way, but we had some really good rugby out there and it's something that we can be proud of. So looking just kind of our performances and just developing those and making them consistent over 80 minutes and being, being a really competitive team each game. We've had so much more um, time together as a squad. Um, 15 of our girls are part of the BT Academies, which has been fantastic. You know, we're, we're really developing in terms of our strength, our speed, our skills as well. And that's, you know, reaping the benefits from the funding and, and support that Scottish Rugby have given us in BT Sport as well. Um, Preparation is obviously looking towards Ireland, really tough game first up, but the fact we're at home at Broadway is fantastic, you know, we love having, having a home venue, having a home crowd and hopefully everyone comes down and watches and gets behind us for Ireland because I know we'll, we'll definitely need that extra little bit of support. How much difference does that home support make? Oh it's huge, you know, especially when you get those tough moments, especially notorious in Scotland, you know, weather as well and it gets a bit, it gets a bit dreary, having that boost, having that extra noise. It pushes you on, it gets you through that, that barrier of when your mind's telling you you need to stop, you need to slow down. That crowd, it's that buoyancy, you know, they get you going, they get you through the game and it, it's something that we want to have and want to keep on increasing that fan base. It's an absolute honour to, to be able to represent your country and then to, to be able to then captain it, it, it's an added bonus and it, it's a great thing to do. You think, I remember being a child and always epitomising all those captains I saw before me, um, especially like, you know, Andy Nichol and stuff like that. I thought he was a fantastic captain and to now be up in those kind of echelons is fantastic. But I wouldn't see it as added pressure, you know, we've got so many leaders within the group. But it's, it's just, it's, I used to see it as a title, you know, I, I don't take my game any differently, I don't try and behave any differently. It's just more leading from the front and leading with, with my performance. We've got a couple of new girls that just come in as part of the squad. We've got Sarah Bonner and Rachel Malcolm both coming in from different sports. Rachel's a an under-21 Scottish hockey girl and uh, Sarah Bonner's done a bit of rowing. It's fantastic to have, have these girls coming in. They're adding an extra an extra edge to the squad and, and, and getting that depth that we need. You know, they're really performing well. They're really training hard and you know, we're in a really good place as a squad. We're keeping together, we're really tight and you know, we're getting that consistency which is something we've, we've probably lacked over the past few seasons and you know, it's a really good bunch of girls, you know, a few young ones, uh, young ones nip at the heels but um, no, it's a very good place to be right now.